Hey, it's the Gratitude Juice Feast and Cleanse, brought to you by Omaka Organics, in pursuit of the absolute. Are we Lau, live? We're live. We're live, we're live at Whoa. Leaf. Aloha, <laughs> Sangha, Brother Echo here at Leaf Cuisine. It is day number four of the Gratitude Juice Feast and Cleanse, and I'm sitting here with some amazing brothers. We've been uh, out and about on the town today. We just left an amazing service with uh, Brother Michael Beckwith at the Gape Spiritual Center in Culver City, and uh, we're all flying high. So we're sitting here now at Leaf Cuisine. Uh, I got some juice. Um, you remember a couple days ago I said I was going to keep it low on the sugar? Forget all about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting here uh, just in, uh, in dialogue and I'm about to turn the camera on and uh, what I wanted to surprise everybody with is to talk about what we got out of today because we all went to a service at Agape so maybe we can just uh, talk about what we got today because Michael was just, as Bodice here, Brother Bodice would say, on fire. Mm. <laughs> So let me, I'm gonna take the camera now. We're gonna start with uh, our brother, Dr. Bodice here. And uh, aloha, brother Bodice. All right. So how was a uh, service for you today? What, was, what did you get out of today? Wow. Well, sitting with you and Christina, that was really big. It was um, sharing a special time uh, in that like, sea and ocean of beautiful, uh, loving people. Um, and um, I saw this, this, this kind of mis mystical transition. Mm -hmm. um, I had this grand opportunity to actually work on the, the, the Reverend a few days earlier. And through body work, and to see him speaking spiritually even then, he was on fire even then. Mm -hmm. it's like, Geez, did you do something today mm -hmm. different than yesterday? Did mm -hmm. you stretch the limits? I mean, he doesn't stop. It was like, um, hey man, I want to go higher. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with me, but take me higher. <laughs> so, the whole thing. <laughs> this brother is going to take me higher right. vibration. Mm -hmm. and, and the day was no less than that. Mm -hmm. It was like, that's the fire that was coming from the spirit. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, look, I'm going there. That's mm -hmm. what he was going there. He was going to learn your full potential, get it now. You are not of, what, 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 what was it? Rea reality. Yeah, yeah. You're not about relativity. Relativity. You come from the spirit, you come from creativity, and know that's what you're from, and stand in it now yeah. and reach your Work with it. Work with it. Work with the highest possible manifestation. Mm -hmm. So it comes. Uh, you know, from all of those areas of spirituality, compassion, love, um, he spoke about it, you know, the necessity to make certain that your mind is not in the lower worlds of anger and, you know, and frustration and, and fear the and economy. all those things. Oh no! Exactly. Oh no! <laughs> so he's going to the higher level, that's where we go. Higher level, all the time. <laughs> all right, before I introduce this next brother, I just gotta say a big thank you. His name is Todd. And uh, my brother Andrew here introduced me to him via email because I've been looking for someone to help me out with some editing for this new website that I'm working on, this new juicy website. And this brother actually stepped up and did it in a day. And I've had other people that said they were going to help out with it and, and I never, it was good intentions but it just never panned out. So let me introduce Brother Todd here. Mm, bless Aloha. Uh, hi. Brother Todd, how was service for you today? Service, um, I always think Michael is my greatest reminder. Ah. That uh, he's one of my greatest teachers, but my greatest reminder to always know that you come from the source. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and just like Bodice was saying, that that's where you come from. That's your essential nature. That's who you really are. Mm -hmm. And then you just play mm. in this field and you love it. Right. You love it. You don't be afraid of it. Don't be you, scared. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't, don't let it get to you, you know, and uh -huh. you see it as what it is and you play with it mm -hmm. and you use it for its best intentions and you see that everything you use it for betters your life. And so I love that. And I love when, um, we were singing at a particular moment when we were singing and uh, you know I just felt my felt some of my eyes well up a little bit ah yeah and I just was like yeah let's all sing together or when we were oming together yeah just that moment when we're all together and we're making a guttural noise mm -hmm. that and then just creates this 
powerful vibration in all of us. Right. And so it's all, it's even the silence there, you know, um, that gets me. Everything, everything about it. I appreciate it. Beautiful voice. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right, now, now we're gonna go over here to our brother, Andrew, who is just an amazing person. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> brother Andrew, uh, aloha. And uh, welcome to the video. Uh, how was your experience today at Agape? So beautiful as always. You know, I've been going to Agape pretty consistently for about six years. And it's interesting, I feel like on par with Michael's message about not looking to get your happiness from the world and mm -hmm. becoming a cause in that. He said something, I don't know if he's shared in your service, I went to, to the earlier one. Yeah, yeah. He was saying how in your immaturity, you will look to the world to make you smile, right? Mm. Outer circumstances to create your happiness. And then when you become more mature spiritually, your smile will change the circumstance that your happiness will change the world around you. Mm -hmm. And so for me very much now when I go to Agape, I almost feel like my greatest bliss is to carry the space that I am with me and there, I was actually surrounded by a lot of people who were new and it was like, oh, this is so great because I know that really I am a reflection at this point of agape and I get to really hold the space and share my love, share this consciousness. So what am I bringing to agape as well as what am I receiving in the message? But it becomes this reciprocal thing where it's like, yes, I'm constantly being reminded and also affirming as Michael is speaking, affirming the truth that we all know is there. We don't learn anything. I'm not learning anything. Mm. I'm just being what I know. Mm -hmm. So for me, that place is a practice, just like my meditation practice, just like my yoga practice. It's like, for me, being in that space to receive and just constantly say yes, and knowing that community is holding us in a space of saying yes, so we can really open up and be vulnerable if it's vulnerable, and be powerful and be grounded and hold each other up, right? He was also talking about, as I rise up, mm -hmm. that I bring all onto me, and I was thinking, yes, that's right. That is so true. The greatest thing we can do for this world is rise up. We don't need to change anybody but ourselves. Mm -hmm and look inside, so more than anything, it was um, grateful to be in that space, once again, grateful to be reminded, grateful to be inspired, mm -hmm. and uh, grateful to be able to give my love, to give my, uh, my presence to that space. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, would you mind? Thank you. Not at all, <laughs> my joy. Uh, so you guys can check out, Andrew is actually at Agape uh, on Sundays, a uh, volunteering for the CSA, so, if you uh, want to get your fruits and veggies uh, right out there in the parking lot after services, check them out. Um, for me, you know, going in there, I, this is just my second time there, and the previous time was four or five years ago, but I walked in there today, and the first thing that Michael said when he got on stage was, we don't need any believers here. And I was just like, okay, I'm here now. <laughs> I mean, we don't need any believers, and that, that's so, so, it means so much and so powerful to me because I think the world is, that's what's gotten the world into a, the trouble, the, the trouble that it's in right now is all these different beliefs and everyone knows this and knows that and all these ideas that are clashing against each other. So it's nice to be able to go into a space where people are just there and they're holding space and like uh, me and Dr. B well, on the way over here, we were talking about the most powerful words that we have is, I don't know. I don't know. Get up, wake up with that in your mind in the morning. Uh, but the overall service was just amazing, especially like uh, where, with where I'm at right now in my life with trusting and, and trusting in the universe and trusting that the, the universe wants to provide for me and wants me to express everything that I have mm -hmm. and the reason why I'm here. And uh, just to be in there and hearing that just affirmed word after word on stage, I mean, it was just like an hour of straight goosebumps. So really amazing and, and um, I can't wait to get back. So it's, it's just a great community. So uh, that's it, you guys, for today. Uh, I'm really uh, thankful to be here sitting with these brothers and, and, mm -hmm. and in dialogue and getting ready to uh, with my tasty <laughs> orange, carrot, and ginger juice. Day number four <laughs> of this gratitude juice feast and cleanse is uh, well underway. Okay, you guys, peace, love, unity, respect. This is Brother Echo, Brother Todd, Brother Andrew, and Dr. Bodis signing out. <laughs> peace. All right. <laughs>